Welcome to Hearthstone. Uh, today we are going to play with a warrior deck. This warrior deck is going to be a weapon style uh, warrior deck. So it's going to run every weapon that I can and it's going to run around uh, using the idea that I basically hit the minions with weapons and hit him really hard with the weapons while having minions that are a threat but generally like the, you either you deal with them or you wait it out, sort of. So, anyway, we'll s go with the basics. Double Inner Rage, double Execute, double up Upgrade, double Fiery War Axe, one Battle Rage, one Cleave, Tempted by Whirlwind, but we'll leave that till later on. One Heroic Strike, no Rampage, one Slam, two Cruel Taskmasters, one Shield, one shield Block, I think, is enough. One Frothing Berserker, two Arcanite Reapers, two Gore House, one Brawl, one Grandma Shell Scream. Then we will go into minions. So we want to go into three costs, and we want, no, sorry, two costs, and we want Bloodsail Raiders, and we want to also take, where are they? I think they have four cost actually. We want one Tender of Argus, and we want two Dread Corsairs. We also want Captain Greenskin, Faceless Manipulator, and we want an endgame card, in this case being Ragnaros. And we will call this Weapons of War. Not War. Weapons of War. There we go. Cool. And we will play three ranked games with this deck and see how we form out on the ranked ladder. So, let's start out with the basics. It's an alright deck against most most um, types. Uh, primarily, it's good again. It's alright against rushdowns, because I can clear the board quite easily. And it's relatively alright against bigger minions, because of the executes. So, Mage is my first opponent. So, let's start off with the basics then. We don't want Ragnaros, we don't want Defender of Argus, and we don't really want Battle Rage, no. We want a weapon, we want a weapon, preferably Fiery War Axe in our first hand. And we've got it. And upgrade as well, bonus, right. So, Hello. what we want to do is, well, greetings. we'll give him the greetings. So, what we're going to do is, we're not going to do anything this turn, we'll just leave it. And we'll go straight in for a... Well, that thing's gonna die. Uh, the options are... Well, we'll go with this. Coin, into Fire War Axe, into Upgrade, into Dredge Corsair, into a very dead Sorcerer's Apprentice, and turn. That's instantly a 3-3 for zero mana. Well it's cost me three mana just to get a fire war axe and it's a 4-2 weapon. Whoop. Can't complain with that play. So what's he gonna play? The Dread Corsair is a great card with this deck just because I'm able to just sit there and let the Dread Corsair do the work basically. So what are we thinking here? Well it's a mage or mage uh, secrets cost three mana. It could be vaporize. It's possibly vaporize. No so we'll start off by hitting him with the weapon. Okay. So it's not an ice block and it's not an ice barrier. So it's probably one of the others. Probably vaporize, I would assume. So no the only way to find out is to attack. And yes, it's a vaporize. That's fine. We can we can deal with that. <laughs> So we will just go shield block, five Job armor, done. and get gore house. So we've got one of each of my weapons in my hand as well. So we've got plenty of options. We're in the next turn we can... Class. Right. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to kill that. That thing is not living. So we'll start off by slamming it for the card draw. That's cool. Cool. Right. And then kill it with fire. Summon my, fire, uh, my other fire war axe and turn. Not too bad, getting good use out of weapons so far this game. 
Okay, so that thing can die. We're not letting that thing live. What's the best option as well? Obviously, you're going to swing at that. We want a minion on the ground. So, I'll play the Core Taskmaster to kill it. While we're up now. And turn. That way, we've definitely no minions on the field. On his side. I've cleared the board. Yeah, okay, I'm having to use my weapon primarily to clear the board. But that's fine. Okay. So what we're looking at here is that thing needs to die, preferably. So, choices, choices, choices. Well, we can let it live, but it's risky because it's going to get in my way if I leave it alone. So, armor up. Probably actually the wrong move here. No, we'll just have to leave it alive for now. Can't deal with it. And turn. See what happens. Do 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 do. Yeah. The obvious move here, because I'm. No? No. Should hit me. Just because I'm using weapons. That way. Well, it's not freezing me this time around because I've got the, uh, because of the armor, luckily. Right, what we're looking at then is... How can I repar? Red Corsair. Hit that thing for five. In a rage it, kill it. And armor off. What's gonna happen now? Fire blast, arcane missiles, something along those lines. Hmm. What's gonna do? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Fire blast it for one. Okay. Mirror image. Okay. No, no arcane missile. Okay. So we will play Battle Rage to draw a card. Eh, that's reasonable. No quarter. Could do that, but it's just not worth it. So no. call it there. Can't swim with the weapon because I froze myself due to killing the frost elemental last turn. So. I dream and Sarah. Now. There's a lot of options here, like the fact I can face this manipulator it and then kill it. I like this. Yes. I approve. Thank you. I quite like having mm, Sarah on my side. That, that was pretty damn cool. So I get you Sarah Awakens. That's cool. Okay, so I've got guaranteed 5 damage right there. What I'm looking at now is probably Gore Howl. Ooh, that was mean. Fire Blast and kill the 3 1. Yeah. Pay attention, class. Okay. Cool. Right, what we're going to do then is we're going to go and we're going to play Gore Howl. Armor up. And kill that. Lose one um, attack on the Gorehow, which is fine in this situation. And what do we get? We get a lapping system. That's alright. Can work with that. So next turn what we're looking at is probably gonna be if if plays a lot of minions, Ysara awakens into gre Captain Greenskin. One minion gets a card out of it. That's fine. Kind of cold. No, doesn't play any minions. Fine. In that case, then we will kill that. Gets no cards out of it because I executed it. Play that. Captain Greenskin. And hit for seven. Boom. 
Another laughing sister. Okay. Cool. So, he can't kill the laughing sister with spells. Fireballs me. And fireballs me again. Okay, cool. Well played. Right. So, that was good. It was quite amusing getting Sarah out of the mage due to Faces Manipulator, and that is the strength of Faces Manipulator for you. Gives you a lot of options, lets you do silly plays like that, and the fact that I had the cards in my hand to do it was a pretty big bonus. So, overall, good game, and it was fun to play as well. Like, it's been a while since I've had a fun game against a mage like that. Like, kept freezing me, kept stopping me, but eventually I just bypassed it and started to deal the damage. So anyway, on to game two. Priest. The bane of my existence in half Oh well. So, what do we get? We get shield block, Arcanite Reaper, you know, Rage. Well, Arcanite Reaper is great, but it's not what I want. Captain Green skin. Okay. Should I kept with the Arcanite Reaper then? Never mind. Okay, so I've got, I've got two ways of killing uh, minions, if need be. So that's fine. Well, minions if I've already got two health at any rate. Three health now. Cool. Armor up for two. I might end up playing shield block what next. You want? Not particularly worth just using two cards to kill that. So I'll just shield block. Gorhow. Brilliant. Okay. We're not getting the cards that we need here. Are... Okay. Do, 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 do. Double cruel taskmaster to kill it? Is it worth it? Well, yeah, I suppose it is. It means I have minions on the field. So, not it's, it's not the best play ever, but it means I've got minions in the field, and I can always play Defender of Argus now to make them 3-3 three, three taunts. Which is fine, and perfectly access acceptable. Right. Oh, that's just perfect. Okay. Enrage it. Execute it. Defender of Argus, and hit him, 4, 6, boom. God, I love the golden shield from taunts when they're golden cards. So, what we're looking at now is, well, I can't get go hole until turn 7, and that's probably fine for now, okay. Another one, and Divine Shield's it, okay. Tempting, very tempting. But no, not worth it. Into the breach. Uh, tempting. Uh, make it do four. So yeah, actually, it's not too bad of a play. Go with that. Into the breach. No, Sacrifice two minions no. to get past it, but then do three damage. It cost him. Hang on, Shield Master is 4, so it cost him 5 mana. Cost me a little bit more to get rid of it, but considering I'd already gotten damage out of the minions previously. Shadow Word Pain, yep. That's fine. It was to be expected, eventually. Less a heal on himself, fine. Do we get anything that we can play? No, right. Go how it is, though. Won't swing with it on him because there's no point. It's not going to get uh, do a huge amount if I swing with it now. So what we'll probably do now is go Captain Greenskin into Bloodsail Radar. What Unless... you want? No. Cool. Okay. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Well, that's fine. Like I can get past that. Oh, so I've used all my inner rages and stuff, so I can't make use of him as well as I'd like. Okay. 
Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Yeah. Oh, bro. This is when he has a acidic ooze, which wouldn't surprise me really. Most people run them just to get rid of weapons. I tend to not bother because they're only useful against warriors, paladins, we must rogues. Cleanse the really. sun well. Goes on, buffs that, traitor. That's fine. I can not deal with quite that. What was right. What we'll do then is we will kill that. Did that wrong actually when I think about it. Play that. Armor up. And probably just going to shadow wood def it, but that's fine. Yep, shadow wood def. Yep, there we go. That's fine, because it cost me 2 mana to play that card. Cost him, f what, 5 mana? No, 3 mana. That's... I really don't understand why that card's so cheap, considering it can kill just about anything. Okay. Coins Behold, for 7 mana. Okay. Well, I can kill that. Luckily. Not quite. Wallop. And since there's not much else we can do, we're almost else we can Can't kill it with Shadow Word Death or Shadow Word Pain because it's a 4 attack minion, it's in between. Got 4 more damage down on the Priest. Probably gonna play something like Mind Control knowing Priests. No, Cross Star Mind Control. That's fine. Double the minion's health. And then what? Make its attack equal? Yeah, that's what you priests usually do. Yeah, no, double its health again. Okay, so be it. Upgrade and break strike. Faces manipulate on that. And now I have four of them. No, no, two uh, Grandma Shell Screams. Whoop. What you gonna do about my, my cards? Because there's not much you can do. Do, 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 do. I wonder. Probably mind control. That's what most priests do at this point in the game. Holy Nova. Mind control. No. Smite. Kills one. Heals himself. You must realize that he's dead now. Okay, cool. Alright, play that. Play that. Wallop and wallop. There we go. Game two over and done with. Nice victory. Uh, interesting play with the Grand Shell Scream. Not the best, but overall, not bad. So, we move on to game number three. Let's see how we go. Do, 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 do. So, Overall, not doing too badly with this deck. Uh, better results than my previous deck, uh, the Hunter one in the previous video. So, not too bad. See how we go. What do we get? We get a Shaman. A Shaman. Shaman, Shaman, Shaman. Right. Dreadful Zed. Right, XQ is alright. They're not. They've got no importance to me in this first hand. Arcanite Reaper, Gr Cruel Taskmaster. That's alright. So, at least I can link those two together to kill something. And I've got another Cruel Taskmaster. That's fine. Can deal with two. Let's see what he does. 
Straight off light. Oh, really? Okay. Armor up. See if he plays a minion. No doubt it will. S no, actually. Oh, totem. Okay. What totem? Back of there. No, we'll just armor up again. I can't see the point in killing that yet. I'm not at a point where it's enough of a threat. So, what is he going to do now? Summon another totem? If it's stone claw, then yeah, it's worthwhile just killing it off. No, he's gonna die a wolf. And swing at me for one. Right, well, that thing is dead. Right, Cruel Taskmaster. Into execute. And end my turn. Not the most... I could have gone with just the weapon, but the, I think... Because I haven't got a lot of options to power up the weapons at the moment, it's better to try and save them. Stone Claw, that's fine. Terminate might. Right, okay. That's fine, we can deal with that. It's so weird, I'm not a big fan of that card, personally. So, Fire War Axe. No problem. Into that. Into that. And just armor up now. Cleared off the taunt at least. He's probably going to play another totem this turn. Unless he's got a big minion in his hand. What's he going to do? What's he going to do when he comes for you? What's he going to do? Hex. Really? Hex on that? Okay. I'm not arguing. It just seems like such a weird play. Considering. Fine. Kill that with my weapon. And... Yeah, I'll just play the Arcanite Reaper. We've got uh, Captain Greenskin. So we can power this up. Make it a 6-3 weapon. If need be. What's he gonna do? Uh, now? Get behind me. That's irritating, but I can kill it at least. At the cost of all my armor, but yeah, that's fine. I can deal with this. Uh, faceless manipulator is good now. Yeah, okay. Cool. Do that. Uh, no, we want Captain Green's. Yeah, we will. Kill that. Okay, so at the moment he's delaying me constantly because he's constantly getting taunts down, but I'm not certain if it's helping him. If he plays another minion, something low, it's worth me playing uh, Grandma Shell Scream. Maybe, although he's still got one more hex pen potentially in the deck. Hmm. What's he gonna what do? to do? Lava Burst? Is there anything I can think of? No, fire items. Okay. Okie dokie. Booked lightning. Well, that's fine, because I can still use Captain Green's skin. I was gonna hit them anyway, so why are you giving that taunt? I, no, I just don't understand that at all. No, it's not worth the risk yet. What would I rather him use? I'd rather him use Polymorph on that, and I get straight up 8 damage out of it anyway. Just kill that, and let the Rekmas do the 8 damage. Let's see what he does. He should just hex it. Unless he's got Lightning Bolt and Lava Burst, in which case he overloads for 3, I think it is. So, that's worth it for me, because it delays him. And then I can use Gr Grommash on turn 10, along with my Cool Taskmaster. And then, if Gromosh lives, I just must uh, face his manipulator it. That's fine, I don't really... Cool. 
Actually. Oh dear. That I can just. Tempting, 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 tempting. Shoulda, 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 shoulda. No. What's from me? Yet. Do the cleave. Do the taskmaster. Armor up. Oh, he gives up. Okay. So he must have just realized that he was he was only delaying the inevitable. Eventually I was just gonna steamroll past him and kill off his board constantly, and every time I was, he was playing a taunt, I'd blow it up, play another taunt, I'd blow it up, and then like as soon as the next turn came round, if he didn't have another taunt or if I could kill the taunt, I was just going to go Gromosh in a rage and hit him for lots of damage. And there's not a lot he could have done. I, I was in control. I was constantly in control of the board. Couldn't deal with the Ragnaros because he didn't have a hex or uh, two spells to kill it off with. So yeah, overall not too bad. Uh, three victories in a row with the Warrior. And yeah, overall went well. And thoroughly enjoyed playing the deck. Thank you for watching.